boys and girls, it's Miss Lene and Paige. We're going to do a St. Patrick's Day activity today. You're gonna need this paper from our website, the Shamrock paper. We're going to be making salt shamrocks. It's gonna be so much fun. So, for this activity, you'll need this paper. We're going to cut it so that we each get two. And then you're going to need some watercolors. Of course, water to go with the watercolors. A paintbrush, glue, salt, and then some kind of tray to do the, uh, the salt in. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to cut out. Once you are done cutting your shamrocks like this, we both have two. You are going to put your shamrocks inside your tray. Then you're going to take your glue, you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna put glue all over the shamrock. Okay, let's go ahead and start putting the glue on our shamrock. So, I'm going to go ahead and start by just kind of outlining the shape of the shamrock. Like this. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are all artists. So don't be upset if it's not perfect. And then I'm gonna kind of go in here and make some swirlies. Going to use our salt. We're going to take our salt and we're going to sprinkle it all on the glue. Will it look pretty at the end? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. And you can shake it off. So That's it good. It's like this. Um. Just like this. You can see that the salt is on there, but it's good. All right. Now I'm going to take yeah. my salt and I'm going to put the extra in the trash. We're going to set a timer for 10 minutes and let them dry a little bit. Then we'll come back and paint with our watercolors. All right, we waited our 10 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and start watercoloring our shamrocks. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh,
first one and it's green. And I'm going to do the second one in a rainbow color. If you notice when you put your watercolor, it, the more water that you have, it absorbs right into the salt and makes a really cool look. These are how they turned out. Paige used less glue than I did and hers seemed to actually take the paint a little bit better. So if you use a little bit less glue and let it dry, that seems to be the best way to do this activity. But we hope you guys have a happy St. Patrick's Day and you had fun with us. Bye! Bye.